witchcraft, Tudor graffiti and a staggering 800 years of history have been uncovered at a Grade 2 listed hall in Worsley. Developer Tony Woolwork bought Kempner Hall from Peel Holdings with planning permission for four houses, but investigations uncovered an important heritage asset with history stretching back to the 1200s. Um, but when you walked inside, it was absolutely derelict. There was plasterboard and Latin wattle and daub just hanging from all the walls and ceiling. However, we've had confirmation that a, a, a guy called Sir Elias de Worksley, who was a henchman for William the Conqueror, set up home in Kempner. It was a pharmacy uh, for the local peasants. Uh, it's been an alehouse where highwaymen peddle your ill-gotten gains. It was very exciting, but at the same time, it was one of, we've got a mountain to climb here. It needs to be renovated to preserve it for the future. Parts of it have been here, uh, still remaining, from 1350. Uh, it's had a cross wing added uh, in 1550, and then to complete a, what's a traditional H house, it's had a, an east wing that's been added about 1610. Uh, in that time, it's gone through a number of aristocratic families. The Starkey family owned this building, Kempner Hall, and also Clueth Hall. Um, uh, Astley Tilsley area. A, a lot of the neighbours talk about John Dee, who was the court advisor to Henry VIII and Queen Elizabeth I, John Starkey, seven of his family members all coming under the demonic possession. John Dee was involved in exercising them. We then found a witching post, which is an eight-pointed star in a, a, a perfect circle. When we've looked and researched John Dee, that's what he tends to be uh, uh, depicted with or, or, or within. So we're going to renovate it to the guidance of uh, English heritage. Please do come and have a look at the finished item. I hope it will be better than it probably looked when it was done in 1350.